Um, what I did to test my theory is uh, to know that the water is not getting to the top is I took the top rack here and I put five ceramic bowls so that it would be heavy and not be pushed around by the water and what I did is I put them facing up like this and I ran the dishwasher on a rinse cycle which should have resulted in having water in the bowls and I wanted to know if I was missing water, water wasn't getting to a particular corner, or wasn't getting to the center in this case uh, they were a little damp but there was no, absolutely no pool of water in the bowl at all which indicates that there was no water um, getting at least was not getting to the very top uh, spinner up here and uh, ouch <laughs> uh, also most probably was not getting to um, this lower um, propeller down here Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to remove this propeller assembly down here. Now, uh, in this case we have some snaps up here to remove uh, this section up here uh, and back here and up here there are snaps. There are snaps here to pop out. It's got to push on one and then the other and that will work that part loose. There's another uh, setup down here pop those out like so. Uh, this particular situation, this part here pops off, we'll get that out of the way and then this assembly here comes out and we'll set that aside up there. Alright, what happens here is this thing is kind of in a, in a locked position so you have to turn it to get it out and it's underneath here it's hard to see but in order to get that out I have to kind of lift this up in the back a little bit and then turn this whole thing this way and it just pops out and as you can see here um, how it has these tabs uh, that lock into uh, locking tabs down there. I'm going to take that and set that aside. Starting with my number T20 Torx bit remove these Take those screws out. I'm going to put them in a cup here so I don't lose them. And put that up here out of the way. Next, I'm going to use a screwdriver here, flathead, just to gently pry this off. Alright. This screen itself can get pretty nasty. And in here, it can get pretty dirty too. Okay, so you need to make sure you clean this out. Okay, as you can see, there is some water down in there. And we want to get that water out of the way. Get the water out. This is where the turkey baster comes in handy. Whoops! Excuse me. And get the water out from the bottom there. Because all the water was on the top here, uh, it drains down to the bottom. So it would be quite a bit of water in there, several cups, anyways. And that's just what's left over from uh, the dishwashing cycle. to get this out of the way now so I don't end up knocking it over and spilling it. I'm going to use some paper towel here just to kind of wipe things up. Blot up some of the excess water on the surface just to keep things dry and all that. When you're doing this though you want to make sure uh, to watch out for glass because I do have some broken glass in there and that broken glass of course can cut you. As you'll take a look down inside here there's a couple pieces of uh, broken glass from some cup or something that broke and get those out of here and there's all kinds of nasty stuff in here All right, uh, I had actually started scraping this a little bit before I uh, started the video but anyway um, this is uh, pretty nasty in here so 
what we need to do is clean out is clean out all of this stuff here we need to remove this assembly here and you'll see why there's a food chopper in there we want to make sure you get all the gunk out of there uh, in this case there's a this is where my number 15 Torx driver bit comes into handy right there in that little spot right there take that out and then I can pop out this whole thing careful not to lose that put that in the cup alright now this assembly here will now pop out of there and it gets pretty nasty down there pretty pretty nasty washing with vinegar once in a while will help to kind of clean out the system in general but it doesn't do anything for stuff like this for stuff like this there's no other solution than to just get down and dirty and take it apart alright now deep down in here this is the food chopper this whole thing here, there's a screen and this blade here chops up the food you can see here just how nasty it gets down in there all that food and gunk, all that grind gosh what is this you can't be too squeamish when doing this just junk just food and junk and pieces of broken glass so, uh, pieces of plastic it just gets nasty down there well nothing to do now but to clean that stuff out okay this is where this uh, flathead screwdriver can come in handy again this uh, kind of scraping things out of that those channels down there try to get the fingers down in there and in some cases you don't want to use your fingers because uh, like I said, it could be some sharp broken glass in there and uh, if you're not comfortable picking those up with your bare hand then just use a pair of needle those pliers tweezers somebody else's hand if you have any kids uh, you can get one of the toothbrushes and use that to clean this out just rinse it out really good before you put it back in the bathroom they'll never know Hell, I'm going to brush your teeth anyway. Uh, I'm also going to use some uh, Simple Green just to kind of spray around and clean it up a bit. As I mentioned before, this sensor over here, um, I'm not sure what it does. It senses the temperature of the water or cloudiness of the water or something. Uh, while well, you got all the stuff off, it's not a bad idea to scrub that off. This here is some of the stuff that I pulled out of that drain over there. Uh, there's pieces of broken glass, uh, just sediment of gunk, piece of broken uh, ceramic, corn kernels. <laughs> Gotta keep some uh, water handy in this bucket, this little thing here, just to dip this sponge into and then scrub the sides. Okay, having um, plugged the dishwasher back in and uh, done all the cleaning and everything in there beforehand uh, and put a, just a, a little bit of vinegar in there, maybe about a quarter cup at the most I'm going to run it on a normal wash uh, I don't need the heat dry option and uh, turn it on Okay, while the dishwasher is running through the cycle to get all the gunk and everything I just scrubbed up you know, drained away and washed away. Uh, it's time to clean these other parts. This is also a way to test to make sure that water is going to make it to all the uh, little jets here. Now I'm testing this to see that water is flowing to the, uh, the four corners of the Oh, 
want to show you this part here. This part here is critical to uh, getting water um, uh, to, well, to the propeller uh, underneath the, uh, the top rack. So what I do here is I'll, I'll pop this off. Okay, so this part here is critical to make sure it's clean and clear, especially inside of uh, these ports as well. Um, what this does is the top rack adjusts to a, a higher position or a lower position, uh, and that's why there's two holes here. And what happens is uh, those ports get plugged in to that part there when you push the rack back against the back of the uh, wall of the uh, dishwasher, and then it then, then delivers water from here uh, into this hose here, um, and it delivers water to the uh, propeller underneath the top rack. So you want to make sure all this is clean and clear and, and is operating um, accordingly. So that I don't strip out the plastic, I'm going to set the uh, clutch on this very low to about five. Or you can do it with a hand screwdriver if you have one for that. Okay, let's see how it did. I'd say that's a go. All right, now to test it for real with some real dirty dishes, which I have plenty of. Okay, the moment of truth. It's finished. Let's see what it did. How well it did. Bottom rack is nice and clean. Top rack. Much better. Much, much better. All right. That did it. We will be happy campers now with a working dishwasher.